I'm Nicole Rashad, Precious Metals reporter with Investing News Network, and this is your Roundup for March. March was a relatively steady month for the precious metals once again. While gold did drop below the psychological level of $1,300 per ounce a few times during the beginning of the month, it rebounded and maintained that rebound when on March 20th, the Federal Reserve paused interest rate hikes for 2019. Towards the end of the month, the precious metal was trading at around $1,320 per ounce. Gold continued to be supported by its safe haven nature as once again investors turned towards the metal during another month that involved geopolitical turbulence and growing concerns surrounding global economic slowdown. In gold company news, Barrick Gold dropped its hostile takeover bid for Newmont Mining in lieu of a joint venture agreement between the miners that combine their Nevada assets. Additionally, Newmont Mining continues its acquisition of Canadian company Gold Corp. As for silver, March was another month where the metal re remained relatively flat, but it did stay above the $15 per ounce threshold, and many analysts do believe that it is prime for an up upward trend. In fact, at this year's PDAC conference in Toronto that ran from March 3rd to the 6th, many industry insiders, such as Dr. Calcoteca, Brian Lenny, and Wheaton Precious Metals CEO Randy Smallwood are all positive for the metal in 2019 and beyond. Don't forget to check out all of our PDAC coverage on our YouTube channel. For other interviews with industry insiders such as Rick Rule, Adrian Day, Darren Blasetti, and Jim Gallagher. Speaking of Jim Gallagher, CEO of North American Palladium, Palladium had another record-setting month in March. The most expensive precious metal hit a record on March 19th when it was trading at $16 per ounce on the back of shortage of supply and an increase in demand. Currently, the metal is trading around $15.50 per ounce. And that's your precious metals update for March. Make sure to check back next month to see what happens in April. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn.